if you've not watched any of my videos, we bought a piece of property and we're getting ready to build a house. So right now I don't have any electricity up there. So I needed a saw that I could use without having electricity. And I didn't want to have to pull a generator out every day. So I ended up going with a flex volt. Got the nine half hour battery. Flex volt circular saw. The model is DCS578. After using a little bit, I think it'll outcut the electric version. I've had this saw for probably 20 years. The model on it is DW368. It's been a good saw, and this saw, and I've got other equipment from them or, or tools from them that I've had for years, so that's the reason I've stuck with a walk. I know there's a lot of different brands, but basically I'm wanting to compare battery versus electric. So I've got two new blades. I'm gonna stick it on each saw. I've got a piece of hard maple that we had built a countertop up out of, and it was a cutoff. Hard maple, we're gonna rip it long ways, and basically I'm just gonna race them. We'll see which one can win. After using this one a few days, I believe the battery will get it, but we'll find out. All right, I'll show you what we got. We've got maple. I can say that come out like a, a countertop. So that's the waste piece, but I've measured out essentially four feet. So we're gonna race to the finish line because I had to clamp it back here at the table, didn't have a real good way to hold it. But I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna cut, if I can cut two lines with each saw, we'll cut two, but then we'll just time it per the video and we'll see who the winner is. Got new blades on both saws, so we're ready to go. feather both saws myself but basically what I'm doing is I'm just giving it as much as I feel like it can take without bogging it down but there's one cut we're gonna make a second cut Let me plug the electric version up and we'll give it a shot. Now I've got a 25 foot 12 gauge drop cord, so I'm not going to have any reduction in juice going to this baby. So let me get it plugged up and we'll see how it does. I don't think we need a timer to know who won that, but I'm gonna do one cut with each of them again, and then we'll put the time on it and see what their times are. I don't think it's much of a competition. All right, well, there we have it. 
The electric versus battery race. I don't have the times yet. When I go back and look the video, I'll put some times on the screen and I'll basically start the clock when the sawdust, you see the sawdust coming out of the saw and once I pass my little finish line, I'll, I'll, I'll set the times that way. But I, I think it's a pretty clear winner that this battery power will out saw this electric saw. Now like I say, this is a 20 year old saw, the new ones may be faster, but I'll tell you that, uh, that's hard to beat. It's a beast of a saw. And like I say, I know that Milwaukee and Makita and a lot of different companies make good good stuff, but I've been a, the walk guy for a long time. But I've sort of been out of the build and remodeling game for a while, work on projects here and there, so I've not upgraded anything in a while, but I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of work here in the near future, so I figured it's time to upgrade. But I know there's different versions of these battery powered saws. I elected to go with a flex volt. I, I'm sort of a firm believer in if you're going to buy something and keep it for a long time, spend a little more money and uh, you kind of get what you pay for. But I've not tested the other versions, uh, the XR and, and whatever other model they've got. But I will tell you, that flex volt is a hot saw. Very pleased, but I think this will be my new go to saw. I'll put you some weights. I'm going to weigh these two saws. I'll put you some weights on the screen here now, and that way you can see the difference, but they're pretty close in weight. So anyway, I will, uh, when I get a little time, I'll take the reciprocating saw. I bought the Flex Volt reciprocating saw as well, and I'll compare it against my old DeWalt reciprocating saw, and we'll see how they do. But uh, I'll probably end up going to Jigsaw, and I'm just going to go battery. Uh, versus the electric. They're just uh, handy, handy tools to have. But anyway, if you watched, I appreciate it. Hey, we'll catch you later.